Hi Filipino learners, my name is JC. Kamusta kayo? In today's video, I will be teaching you how to form simple sentences with kailangan or in English, need. I think this is a very important lesson because kailangan is a very useful word in Tagalog. It is used quite often and today, we are going to focus on how we can properly form sentences with kailangan. Just the heads up that this is going to be a long lesson and I'm going to try to give you as many examples as I can for practice. So I suggest that you take notes. Okay, let us begin. First, if you want to say to need something or to need a noun, you should begin with kailangan followed by the doer of action or the one who needs that something. And take note that for this, you would have to use non-subject markers on the doers of action, not the subject markers, okay? Or if you're using pronouns for the doers of action, you use non-subject pronouns, not the subject pronouns. And finally, it is followed by the object or the noun that is needed. Okay, let me give you some examples. Kailangan ni Aurora ng tulong. Aurora needs help. Kailangan ni Olivia ng sasakyan. Olivia needs a car. Kailangan ng bata ng atensyon. The child needs attention. Kailangan ni Randy ng doktor. Randy needs a doctor. Kailangan ng aso ng pagkain. The dog needs food. So I've already mentioned this earlier. As you can see, the markers that we are using for the doers of action are non-subject markers. And if you noticed, we also placed nang before the object or the noun that is needed. Now, just a few more examples. This time, let us use pronouns for the doers of action. Kailangan mo ng mga kaibigan. You need friends. Kailangan ko ng gamot. I need medicine. Kailangan nila ng malamig na tubig. They need cold water. Once again, we are using non-subject pronouns for the doers of action. And just like in the previous examples, we have nang placed right here. So, we are using nang because in all of our examples, these nouns are non-specific. Same right here. These are non-specific. When we start being specific, however, we use subject markers. Here are some examples so that you can see the difference. Kailangan ni Aurora ang tulong mo. Aurora needs your help. Kailangan ko ang pinakamabilis na sasakyang meron ka. I need the fastest car that you have. Kailangan ni Randy ang doktor. Randy needs the doctor. Kailangan ni Randy si Dr. Angeles. Randy needs Dr. Angeles. Kailangan nila si Angela at Adrian. They need Angela and Adrian. Okay, let us look at the examples closely. So for this one, the first example, earlier we said, Kailangan ni Aurora ng tulong. Aurora needs help. So it's not really specific. The help could come from anybody. But for this one, Aurora needs your help, your help specifically. So usually we are being specific if we are expressing possession or ownership of the noun. Like in this example, right? So what are other times that we are being specific in English? When we use the definite article the. 
just like in these two examples. So if you use the before the object or noun needed in English, you use the subject marker, ang, okay? Another time we are being specific is when we say exactly who it is that we need. Like in these examples. Here we specified who the doctor that we need is or the name of the doctor. Doctor Angeles. Same with this one. We specified the names of the people. Sina Angela at Adrian. So again, we're using subject markers. And of course, same goes when you are using a pronoun, right? You are specifying who it is exactly that you need. So can you guess which type of pronouns you should use? So here, we should use subject pronouns. Halimbawa, kailangan ko siya. I need him or her. Kailangan mo kami. You need us. Kailangan kami ni Adrian. Adrian needs us. Kailangan siya ng anak niya. His or her child needs him or her. By the way, on my last two examples, did you notice something different? The order of the parts of the sentence change. So this is an exception. Take note. Uh, the doer of action was placed at the end, unlike on my previous examples. If who is needed is a pronoun and the doer of action is not a pronoun, the pronoun will go first. Okay, take note of that. Uh, but still, the rules remains the same. For the doer of action, we're still using non-subject markers. And for who is needed, we're still using subject pronouns. Now, if we want to say to need to do something or to need to do an action, this is how we form the sentence. You should begin with kailangang. This time, it has ng at the end. Kailangang. Followed by the action or verb that you need to do. And take note that for this, we have to be using the basic or infinitive form of the verbs. And then it is followed by the doer of action. And just like before, for the doers of action, we should be using non-subject markers. Or if it's pronouns, we use non-subject pronouns. Okay, halimbawa, kailangang magpahinga ni David. David needs to rest. Kailangang umalis ni na Patrick at Sandy. Patrick and Sandy need to leave. Kailangang magtrabaho ng nanay niya. His or her mother needs to work. Kailangang mag-aral ng bata. The kid needs to study. Once again, for the verbs or the actions that is needed to be done, we're using the basic or infinitive form. Now, the rules will change a little bit if the doers of action are pronouns. Instead of putting ng at the end of kailangan, we put it at the end of the pronoun. And then the pronoun, which is the doer of action, is placed right after kailangan. And then it is now followed by the verb or what needs to be done. Halimbawa, kailangan niyang magpatingin sa doktor. He or she needs to see a doctor. Kailangan kong pumunta sa opisina. I need to go to the office. Kailangan nilang mag-usap. They need to talk. So again, there's no NG at the end of kailangan. Instead, that ng is placed at the end of the doer of action, which are the pronouns. Well, there you go. That is it for today's video. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, you may subscribe to this channel. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Sa susunod ulit. Paalam!